welcome to the S Super Mario Brothers LP. <laughs> yep. I'm Royal Rockwood, and I finally was able to use... I found the extension for SNES 9X that I needed to use version 1.53, so now you get this. Um, I can't function the NES emulators to record video, so I have to use the SNES version. Actually, no, this isn't even the SNES version. If you look up there, it's Super Famicom. So, this is from Mario All-Stars, a 16-bit rendition of... All the Mario Brothers games plus Super Mario World. It's a fun game in my opinion, and I love how you how they have five games in one, including the Japanese version of the Super Mario Brothers 2 levels. I personally prefer that over the version that we got. I swear to god. So, the concept of this game is, after Mario Brothers, in Super Mario Brothers, now Mario's living in the... I forget what they call it. I'm thinking of calling it the Toad Kingdom. Yeah, I'll just call it Toad Kingdom for convenience sake. Yeah, Mario uses mushrooms to get bigger. Is this a drug relation? No, it's not. Mario can moonwalk too, almost... <laughs> I actually like that about this game. Mario can moonwalk. <laughs> I find that amusing. Anywho, back to the storyline. Um, King Koopa has stolen Princess Toadstool, the head of the Toadstool Kingdom. And now it's up to Mario and his brother Luigi, who's a gardener in order to defeat Koopa and save Toadstool from danger. Mario also has another power-up known as the Fire Flower. You press the run button and you can literally shoot fireballs at your enemies. I thought there was a death pit when I was jumping through the um, center, but it was the second port. But I digress. They actually altered the score a bit. Like, I remember in the original game, it would be like 200 for every coin you get. It looks like they altered the score a little. I don't know why, but okay. The flagpole, you can get um, up to 5,000 points. And that that green ball at the top of the flagpole, I've never been able to get it, but according to my friend Chuck, uh, you can get a 1-up. I find that awesome. If you can get a 1-up from that pole, like, post a video showing me that. I've never been able to see that before. Another bad thing about this game, um, well actually this is the first main bad thing of this game. Platforming is a bit of a pain and also, even if you have Fire Flower mode, if you get hit, you go back to Small Mario. Yeah, not the generic 3 hits like in Mario Brothers 2 and 3, but, yeah. Whatever. If you had Big Mario, you can actually go up there and manage to hit the block and head up. You, you can p bypass all of these contraptions and traps that you have to go through. It's pretty crazy if I do say so myself. And yes, I know about the warp zones and the secrets which allow you to go to later worlds. I'll be showing that in, the, in a later video, I won't show it now. Oh yeah, also, another funny thing. If you played, if you played a level very well, you'll actually get fireworks um, exploding in the area. I don't, I've never actually been able to get that properly, but it seems fun in my opinion. Might as well mention how the enemies are in this game. So, the first enemy that you see is the Goomba. He's your... Yeah, he can still kill you, though. Basically, all the enemies, all you have to do is jump on their head, and boom, they're dead. <laughs> and then that turtle, that's a Koopa. That's a regular Koopa. And Koopas, if you jump on them and they'll, what'll happen is they'll just go into their shell. Now, unlike games like Mario Forever, 
um, in the original Mario Brothers titles, the Koopa actually had the... Oh yeah, bad... That's where physics go wrong. Um, the Koopas in this game... They sort of have this gimmick where if, if you don't, like, knock their shell, what happens is they don't, um... They don't die, they just go out of their shell again and start walking. This could be a real pain. But, you know. And then there are the Koopa Paratroopas, which you saw were the Flying Koopas. Those take, they take two hits. Or three if you want to knock their shell around. But, uh, yeah. Another reason why I hate this game, the physics. The physics in the original Super Mario Brothers weren't bad. But then I play this game and it's like, oh, ish. Another horrible um, way to show off physics in a Mario game. Yeah, the original Mario series was widely known for having bad physics. <laughs> I could complain all day about the original game having these bad physics, but yeah. I noticed I was down on my last chance, so I was like, meh, why not just run through and see if I can survive. Oh yeah, King Koopa, aka Bowser, in later games. He intentionally will try to kill you before the level even, I mean, before the boss fight even starts. If you have Fire Mario, all you need to do is shoot five fireballs at him, or you can kill him with that axe, just jump on it, and boom, level's over. Yeah, your princess is in another castle. <laughs> oh, this is this is why I love this game. Although I hate it to death in certain parts. Oh, and funny thing, even if you kill a Koopa, their shell can kill you. Here is that in action. Yeah. I saved the game immediately after I finished this part, but... Yep, that's basically the end of this. Hope you enjoyed this first segment. Because I know I did. <laughs> Nevertheless, I will see you for part two when we tackle world two. I'm trying to stay I'm trying to stick it to um one world per segment because of the whole nine minute I mean the yeah, the whole nine minute and fifty nine second PlayStation network limit thing. So just doing that as a precaution. Anywho, see you in part two.